Welcome to lesson two of three, temperature changes in a system and specific heat capacity. This is our second lesson in our series of three videos on the topic of internal energy and energy transfers. Here are the key learning objectives for this lesson. The first is to look at changing the temperature and then look at calculating temperature changes. Finally, we will touch on specific heat capacity. Here are the AQA specification points for this lesson. Feel free to pause the video now and read through them before we begin. When we raise the temperature of a system, different factors will affect the increase in temperature. These include the following. The mass the type of material, and the energy input. As the mass of a substance increases, the number of particles in the substance will also increase. This means there are a larger number of particles to heat, therefore making it more difficult to heat. Certain materials are easier to heat up than others. For example, we can look at conductors and insulators. Conductors are fairly easy to heat up, whilst insulators are difficult to heat up. As the amount of energy input decreases, it is easier to heat a substance. This is because we simply have more energy available in the system, which can be converted into kinetic potential and thermal energies. AQA exams could include six mark questions on this kind of topic. You may be asked to discuss the factors affecting the temperature change of a substance and apply this knowledge to a real life situation. Now let's look at an equation to do with the change in thermal energy. This is the formula for change in thermal energy. We can calculate the change in thermal energy using the formula mass multiplied by specific heat capacity multiplied by temperature change. The short version, as shown here, may be more useful for you in an exam. The units should also be pretty familiar to you, apart from that for specific heat capacity, which is joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. Now we'll have a go at this practice question. Pause the video now to attempt it by yourself before we go through it together. First, we will write out the appropriate equation, which is the one we just saw. Now, we can simply substitute in our numbers. Two kilograms, the specific heat capacity of iron, which is 450, and the temperature increase of five degrees leaving us with an answer of 4,500 joules. Even if you don't get the correct final answer, you can pick up a lot of marks by clearly showing all of your working out. For this particular question, you can gain half the marks for simply writing out 2 times 450 times 5. The final learning objective is to look at the specific heat capacity of a substance. We previously covered this in section 4.1, Energy. For completeness, we're going to recap the definition here. Specific heat capacity is the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius. Pause the video now to work out how much energy this process requires. The answer to this, because the substance is water, is 4,200 joules.
We've now covered all the learning objectives for this lesson. Feel free to skip back through the video and re-watch anything you are unsure about. We've now completed Lesson 2.